that man is one of the toughest men you will ever meet. That's phenomenal. 41 year old, nearly just showed him all how it was done. Hip number one here in the Who's B race. Inga Jacob Ingebrigtsen Bell. Right. Don't write like that. that. <laughs> oh, Wolfgang. Kotra Nemesi. He's one of your foes, isn't he, Isaac? Oh, yeah. I reckon he's going to smack my PB right now. Jason Clayton. David Grieg. Kernahan. Mickey Kernahan. The king of Strava. The actual metronome. Mickey Kernahan. The king of Strava. You wouldn't know about that, though, I Mitch. I would have no idea. <laughs> no. Do you even know what a CR is? <laughs> no. Oh, Course geez. record. Commonwealth, oh, yeah. Commonwealth record. It yeah, bang on. I had Strava at one point. <laughs> but I got rid of it. When you start running over 5 minute 30 k's, that's when you got to... You gotta go. No one can see this. No, that's when you got to join the parkrun clubs on Strava. That's when you start to get the wreck into runners. It. You know, I've gone the wrong way. I gave up on it. You gave up. <sighs> soft from me. Actually, soft. It's about to say you don't need to be a slave to Strava as long as you're turning up on the track and racing. But <laughs> you know, you're not doing that either. Yeah, yeah really. <laughs> I've really got none of it going. <laughs> that's why it's best to stay off it. Ben Ludbrook was telling me early in the week that. Everyone's got to watch out for him in this race. Okay. Good call, pumping himself up. I like that. Watch out Don't for mind Sammy that. Rat Ray as well. He's been running well. Jason Clayton. Okay. Jeez, we've got a, got a lot of boys to watch. Reese Hadfield as well. He's pretty good. Caleb Sin. Jeez, it's a. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh Seth yeah. O'Donnell, the mullet man. He's pacing and he's corn for it. And I hear is Yeah, but the, Michael Kernahan actually is the pacemaker. Yeah, he is, yeah. <laughs> the unofficial so, uh, pacemaker. Don't need the pacemaker. That's that's actually me. This guy's come literally out of a time machine from the 70s. <laughs> Even... What a vibe. I mean, that that's a stock pacemaker singlet, but he's even made it look yeah. custom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We've got the mullet and the afro out the front here. Yeah. Like, it's the it's same one that's been worn... All night, same cut and everything, yet he's made he's it look 70s. 70s. Yeah. <laughs> it's the chest hair and the mullet. <laughs> it's doing double damage. So, unsurprisingly, Michael Kernahan has gone right behind him, which we love, which the whole race should be grateful for. Going out quick, and I reckon a few of these boys are going to pay for it later on, but Wolfgang, he'd be used to it, running 155, 800s. Yeah. So he should be right, but a few of these other yeah, boys have definitely free. gone out hard. He just needs to do that four times in a row. <laughs> no breaks. And then piece, piece of cake. He will be signing a contract before he <laughs> steps foot off the track. <laughs> With the dragonfly. Don't mention it. Don't say the I, word. I can't join in on that conversation. You can say dragonfly. <laughs> you can't say super. Don't oh. say it. All right. Johnny Portwood. Doncaster on the outside there. So this is Wolfgang... In fourth. Yeah. Well, third in the real race. Yeah. Fourth behind the pace. Fourth in the pace of race. Oh. Clayton making some moves around as well. Who's the... Is that Tom Bowers? Yeah, he is... He's Diddy. <laughs> He's just shaved his legs. Oh, we've got some. We've just been told <laughs> some extra information. Boys. Apparently, he just <laughs> shaved his <laughs> legs. <laughs> his legs are shaved. Pack it up. If you're, if anyone's sitting at home and saying these boys just they don't know anything, they don't do their research. Well, we do. Yeah. <laughs> Josh McLeod feeding us the inside Tom goss. Bowers legs are shaved. Okay, and yeah. that, that's not extensive enough for you. Then you can't then, go then you can see him shining. Then leave. Yeah. <laughs> just <laughs> leave. You can't go much deeper than that. <laughs> and don't. <laughs> so Mickey Kernahan just going to let the pacemaker go. Because his pace is probably more accurate. <laughs> he's just... He'll do this all day. His so club mate... Love the work rate of Mickey Kernahan. He's got to have the smooth, perfect numbers for Strava. Club Who's mate in uh, Xavier, Xavier Johnson sitting on Mickey Kernahan's heels. I would dare say training, mate, making it look easy. Caleb Sin from Doncaster spoiling the party and uh, making it a third yellow single in a row. Bingo. They've gone through the cane about 2.45 there, I think. 2.45, go on. Yeah. What's yep. that? What's that? That's uh, A15 pace. A15. A15. Pace. That'd be a that'd PB be a for the everyone. There are some boys moving, actually. If they can hold so on to this, that'll be insane. Split up, too. So, you, so 
Wolfgang Crotchin and Messi has a 155 800 in him. I think 54. Bowers maybe. has a pretty good yeah. close in him as well. I'm pretty sure he closed real hard at the 5K last year. There you go. Jason Clayton, a 348. Okay, we've got bullets out of guns <laughs> here all day. So this, this finish is going to be hot. Almost think the pacemaker should just finish it off, though, because he's looking pretty good. Who is this? Seth, Seth O'Donnell. Seth O'Donnell. Yeah, he should just keep going. He's, he's a pretty good runner, so Johnny I would Port not be surprised if he does keep outside. going. He's going to try and move around. I did, um, I did actually do a 20k long run with Jason Clayton a couple of weeks ago, and I've got to say, he was looking fresh after it. Three, <laughs> 3k should be easy for him. He looked good. Yeah. This guy looked good. Yeah. 430 pace. Oh. <laughs> Jesse Dunsmore as well from Frankston. Pretty, um, pretty handy runner, Jesse. So watch out for him. He's in the middle of that lead pack. Tom Bowers on the inside, though. He's got the prize pick right now. Does not have to do anything. Pushing out a little bit of Wolfgang, though. Says, can you clear out? Xavier Johnson on the outside of Michael Kernahan. Yeah, Glenn Huntley, athlete on the inside there. Massive shout-out to Josh Hawks. He's been on the live stream all night. He's kept the comments He's alive. Tr- He's still commenting. Thanks, Josh. For maybe come to Josh, the track next time. Josh, we appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We appreciate the love. So, Mickey Kernahan still behind Seth. Seth is just... I, he's I, he's got to be 2K, I reckon. Look at this now. Tom Bowers on the outside. So established uh, established distance runner, Bowers. Lachlan Eno sitting in there in Mornings Peninsula Orange. On the inside. Just on the heels of Xavier Johnson. Jason Clayton. Looks smooth, Jason Clayton. Slipping in behind Kerners. Off to the NCAA next year, I believe. He is. Won himself Loyola. a scholarship of sorts. Loyola Chicago. She Town, the Windy City. Yeah. It's not windy here at Box Hill, though. No, it is so. No it, excuses you know, we tonight. Can't quite prepare him for that then. But <laughs> Shy Town hero, soon to be Jason Clayton. But Tom Bowers is going to just go right within there. So Mickey Kernahan starts to get swallowed up a little bit by the pack. Lockiano as well goes around him. So Seth O'Donnell leads him out 537, 538 on the clock there for the rest of them. So Jason Clayton going to try and bring through a massive pack of athletes. But as I say that, this massive pack may start to break up. Wolfgang Cochran Messi needs to do his best to uh, make his way around Mickey Kernahan maybe and just get right on the back of that. So Seth's still going. How's sure yeah, Seth O'Donnell? Like, what's his... Um, what's or has he forgot his number? He's gone over 2K, so he may as well go over the full distance. I can't Does see anyone know his... Start, bit? Let's look up his World Athletics profile, please. Oh, no, he might be out now. Charlie Rogers from uh, Glen Huntley just sitting in yeah, fifth, there we go. fourth, third position through there. Yeah, gain up on the uh, on the shoulder of club mate Jason Clayton. Now I think there's a bit of a, um, a grudge match between training partners Charlie Rogers and Sam Bunnage and Charlie Rogers, well, leading that one right now. Yeah, so Jason Clayton, they've made him do a little bit of the work, obviously. They went right around Michael Kernahan, who slipped back into the field. Lockie Eno as well, not far away. Get a name on this uh, Doncaster athlete here in fourth place as well. Uh, I think it's Caleb Sin. So Caleb Sins worked his way up to fourth in the hat. Make that, yep, fourth now. So he's gone around Eno. Bowers looks really good in third. I'm going to be totally honest. Jason Clayton done a lot of work to lead it out, but Bowers in third doesn't have to do a lot right now. Just has to follow the moves, and that's exactly what he might do just here. So Clayton on the inside. Bowers behind him there. Charlie Rogers, 500 metres out, taking the lead. From Clayton and Bowers. Bowers looking pretty strong, though. He's up on the shoulder and sails past Clayton. Oh, he, oh, he's willing to shave legs. Yeah. Of course. Oh, I should yeah. have predicted this. <laughs> How silly up. of us. I told you, back it up. Look at him now. There's no wind resistance on this man's legs. <laughs> That's why. He can't lose. Is that Jason Clayton who's found another gear? So 300 metres to go. Bowers v. Clayton. Big dog v. Big dog. Shaved Who's legs versus hairy legs. Could the hairy legs cost Jason Clayton? 
250 metres to go now. Bowers on the inside. Clayton outside. 200. 747 on the clock. Let's see who's got the biggest fight out of these two. The old Scotch and Glenn Huntley. Two historic clubs now going to try and battle it out. It's still our man on the inside there. Clayton behind him there. Bowers, though. He's got the benefit of the inside sit. Looks a little bit tired. And Jason Clayton senses what that. What a I race. Think. So he's right on the outside now. And Jason Clayton says, see you later. Don't let the door hit you on the way out because this is all mine now. Jason Clayton strides out. 8-16. Woo! Bowers through for an 8-19. Charlie through Rogers for an 8-20. 8 Woof. Where Worked are we? There. Kerners, 8.24. My Lord, that's racing. Wowee. That's um, got to be a handful of PBs yeah. in that bunch. <laughs> so Told it was a good night for racing. Oh, my goodness. Whew, unreal. Them, Some huge nine. results there. So Jason Clayton had an 8.25. So what did he... Uh, so he's run a nine-second PB Not there. bad, not bad. The um, the coaches out in Chicago w won't mind that at all. If you're listening, good investment. Boys, you've got yourself a good one. <laughs> 8.28 for Bowers as well. So he's run about an 11-second PB. Who has? <laughs> wow. Wow. Make that a 30-second PB. Wow. Shytown town here 